Next we cover Joseph Campbell and the power of myth. Joseph Campbell was a professor for 38 years at Sarah Lawrence College and was one of the world's foremost experts on mythology and comparative religious studies. His seminal work was the 1949 Hero with a Thousand Faces, in which he laid out his theory of the hero archetype across world mythologies, called the monomyth. Through his research, he concluded that most myths, along with religious origin tales, were variations of a single grand story, the monomyth, which he named the hero's journey. Buddha, Muhammad, Jesus Christ, and countless other religious figures follow the same basic story structure. Famously, George Lucas credited Campbell's work as the inspiration for Star Wars, and so many more creative works follow this pattern. Here's a sample of a few. The hero's journey is incredible, but for now we're going to go broader with one of Campbell's core ideas. In his own words, Mythology is not a lie. Mythology is poetry. It is metaphorical. It has been well said that mythology is the penultimate truth. Penultimate because the ultimate cannot be put into words. It is beyond words, beyond images, beyond that bounding rim of the Buddhist wheel of becoming. Mythology pitches the mind beyond that rim to what can be known but not told. Basically, people understand the world through humanity's oldest spiritual stories, the myths. And the world needs these myths now more than ever. The modern world's primary motivation is economic. Secular society is simply not responsive to your spiritual needs. Most of us live in a world completely lacking ritual, which is inextricably tied to mythology. Campbell passed away in 1987, but if he were alive today, he might lament the fact that we've fully handed over mythology to Disney and its ilk. For a long while, the movie theater has served as the secular world's church. And hey, I love Disney. <laughs> Infinity War slaps. Are the kids still saying slaps? I, I don't know. But what I do know is the Avengers don't demand anything of the viewer. They might gently inspire, but they lack any sacrifice from the audience. And maybe that's what we want, but it's not what we need. Fortunately, there are many paths to the truth. A footnote in Hero with a Thousand Faces, Ramakrishna puts it best. God has made different religions to suit different aspirants, times, and countries. All doctrines are only so many paths, but a path is by no means God himself. Indeed, one can reach God if one follows any of the paths with wholehearted devotion. One may eat a cake with icing either straight or sideways. It will taste sweet either way. Campbell lightens the load and broadens the idea for even secular humanists with a mantra from the Hindu Upanishads, follow your bliss. Essentially, it is accepting your own call to adventure. The beauty of Campbell is when you hear him talk about this stuff, it's like someone putting words to the truth you've always held inside yourself. His wisdom surely can't be fully understood in a few minutes. I'll cover more of him in the future. If this interested you in any way, I highly recommend you read The Power of Myth and watch the acclaimed PBS special, Power of Myth. Both are linked in the description. Thank you.